Hello and welcome to Chambers of Devious Design. And the fellow on the left there is our evil protagonist. Well, yeah, I say evil protagonist, but he's kind of our boss. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be attempting to design the best possible, well, chambers for him that we can. And I'm actually going to be taking you through the tutorial right now because I really want you to see what this game is all about. This is actually an extremely surprisingly in-depth strategy game with uh, some puzzle elements and things like that. You can play this with a friend as well. You can play this with, I believe, up to four. I'm actually not entirely sure about that, but you can check all of those wonderful features through the link in the description. And as you see here, welcome to Chambers of uh, Devious Design. In each map, you are tasked with building a new evil lair for an evil mastermind. Don't ask why I need so many lairs. In each match, you start with only one room, which functions as the basis for your lair. You can expand your lair by placing new rooms next to your existing rooms so that two doorways are facing each other. You control with this and this and da da da, you know, all that stuff. Go ahead and try placing some rooms. Okay, so now here's the thing. In my opinion, this is one of the more unique ways of doing a... Uh, I, I, I don't know, it's kind of like a score attack game in a way, because obviously if you've played a lot of um, sort of tabletop card games and so on and so forth, this doesn't have cards, but it, it has rooms, basically. And every single room has a different type. So you can see here, the Minion Motivation Lounge has a type of mischief. And you can see here the completion effect is activate the effect of a random friendly neighbor room. And bear in mind that if you have an opponent, which you will later on in the campaign, or indeed if you are playing with a friend, then you take turns and you are selecting from the same pool of rooms. So you have to make some very strategic decisions as time goes on. So for example, let's, um, let's actually build... Let's build this one first, all right? Let's build this one first. Going to build it round about there. And then we're going to be building the mischief room over here. And that should activate its uh, its ability. So um, obviously I don't, I don't think it's actually going to do that right now. But anyway, you can find more details about that room by doing this. I've already gone through the tutorial, but I felt like I... I'm not really going to be able to explain it as well as the tutorial possibly could. So that's the reason why I'm going through this. And uh, yeah, there is a link in the description if you want to check out the game. So this is called the neighbor bonus. So some rooms have a room type symbol next to their score. So you can see here the garden and uh, various other things right there. So for, for example, it means that the room will gain bonus score if it receives a neighbor room of that specific type. And rooms are considered neighbors if their walls are touching each other. All room types have a unique room effect. With most rooms, this effect can be activated by completing the room. A room is considered completed when all the doorways in that room are connected to other doorways. Sabotage rooms are a special room type which have an effect that is immediately activated when the room is placed. So, for example, there are things uh, known as cannons, I believe, and that actually makes a big difference too. So, uh, yeah, let's actually see what I can do here. So, I am going to build... Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. This one, I guess. There we go. And look at that. There's the effect. And uh, that hopefully is actually going to do something. Yeah, sabotage effects can reduce the score of a room, and if any room has their score reduced to zero, that room will be destroyed. A room will also get destroyed instantly if any of its doorways are directly connected to a doorway belonging to another player. Yes, exactly. So you've got to be very strategic and think ahead a little bit when it comes to placing your rooms. And also, you can completely block off your own doors as well if you're not careful. And that is actually going to hinder your progress in the long run. Anyway, destroyed rooms will immediately disappear from the map, and that in turn reduces your score. And most of the time in the campaign, from what I've experienced so far, you're going to have to reach for a particular score. Disabled rooms will otherwise behave like normal rooms, but you cannot continue building from them, and you cannot target them with abilities. You can reactivate disabled rooms by placing a new room next to them. Indeed, indeed. All right, so let's just continue onward here. And when only one room remains in the available room section, a new set of rooms will be generated. Very nice. And there you go. There's, there's a bunch of new rooms. You can gain extra score or other bonuses by being the first to complete the bonus goals of that match. And there are a number of different ones, as you can see on the right here. So, for example, if you were to build four economy rooms, 
then you would gain two random abilities there are abilities in the game as well and you if you if you complete five kitchens then you get a bonus nine score and if you complete five magic rooms then you gain three random abilities so for me specifically i've actually built two kitchens so far so i should probably continue with that and uh, you know try and get a couple of other a couple of other kitchens up and running and there we go look at that i've gained some abilities Yes, indeed. I gained some abilities. During the match, you can gain passive perks. These will give you bonus score when you place rooms of specific types or perform specific actions. During the match, you might also gain special abilities, which you can use before placing a room. Double-clicking will activate abilities that don't require a target, and abilities that do require one can be activated by clicking the ability first. So, for example, you can see here, there's redesign. This is usable once, and it refreshes available rooms. So if you don't like any of the rooms that are available here, you can press this, and then boom, you get some new ones. Otherwise, you have luxurious upgrade, which is also usable just once, and that allows you to increase the score of a target room by two. So there's also that. I'm actually going to be using redesign right now because I'd like to get... Oh, I wanted to get more kitchens. Okay, well, apparently I'm not getting any more kitchens. So I will instead go for a, uh, a slight economy thing going on here there we go and the player icon shows the total score for the player as well so you can mouse over them and you can see exactly what kind of perks they're gaining and various abilities and so on so that's actually very useful otherwise i'm just going to continue building here and press space or click the i symbol to toggle quick info bars on top of the rooms so you can see here if i press space you can see exactly what's going on there not entirely sure why i would turn that off Personally, I feel like it's a, it's just very, very useful to have that on. The information is extremely valuable. Otherwise, you can press G or click the grid symbol to toggle a helper grid. So you can see here, there's the grid. And uh, I'm going to toggle that off for the moment. I don't really think I need it too much. And otherwise, uh, what can I do now? Well, we can actually, maybe we can get a garden room. Mm, don't think I can get a garden room here. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit it. Oh, no, actually, I can. Boom, there you go. And we get a neighbor score. That is really, really nice. Look at my neighbor score just increasing like no one's business. Okay, some matches will have boundaries around the building area. You can place rooms next to the boundaries, but you cannot go over them. In most matches, you will be competing against other players, and each player gets to place one room per turn, like I told you earlier. Once the win condition has been reached and all players have had an equal number of turns, the player with the most points wins. The win condition can be different from one match to another. If you cannot place a room anywhere, you will need to pass the turn. If you pass two turns in a row, you will lose the match. Additionally, if there is only one player who has not passed the latest turn, that player will win the game. And this is the end of the tutorial. All right, so basically I'm just gonna go back and uh, quit over to the main menu. There is a custom game option here as well, by the way, so you can basically just decide whether you want to play versus three AI or whether you wanna play with humans. It is actually available um, to how to play with Steam friends. You could see that right there. I believe that remote play together is available with the game. So that's that's actually really cool. So you can play basically like local, like it's like it's local. And otherwise, uh, let's go into the campaign. And we're going to be playing as Vivian. And you can play on easy, normal, or hard, or master, apparently. Okay, um, no thanks. That is a bit too difficult for me. As I have um, a pretty big problem even playing on normal. I've got to say, I actually find the game to be very difficult. <laughs> anyway, he says, welcome to our evil organization. Vivian, was it? Yes, boss. <laughs> Marvelous. I need you to build me a new lair. Maybe something where I could spend a few weeks in the summer. <laughs> yes, an evil summer lair. Will do. How would you like... I also need you to come up with new evil nicknames for me. Nicknames? <laughs> Lately, I ordered everyone to call me the Supreme Evil. But I feel like it's not evil enough, you know? I need something that makes every living being quiver with fear when they hear it. Actually, they should quiver with fear before they even hear it. I cannot be running an evil organization with a name that is just subpar evil. So start thinking of names and... Uh, oh, what was that other thing? Ah yes, the Summer Cottage. Get to it. I know you won't disappoint me. Yes, boss. Okay, there we go. All right, okay, Vivian, this is your chance. Let's show him what we're made of. All right, so we're obviously not going to be up against a uh, an opponent at the moment. 
But we will be. Don't worry, we will be. All right, so gain a random special ability when we complete this room. Let's probably go ahead and do something with that. So let's do that right there. And uh, let's have a look-see. Uh, what, what is this? This is a magic room. I want to build more magic rooms, but I don't have any more available, and I have no abilities to be able to refresh. So we could do this. Can I do that? Let me see. Uh, something like that, I guess. There we go. And that is indeed going to, as you can see, increase this one's score because we have the, uh, well, we have the, uh, the the neighbor effect. You can see that. I mean, we're, we're going to be getting the neighbor effect hopefully soon enough. All right. So otherwise, hmm, let me see. We could do hallways or we could just do kitchens. I think probably kitchens are going to be a good idea. So let's do that. There we go. And now we have that ability. Fantastic. We can actually gain an extra turn. And there is a uh, cooldown on it uh, when you first get it by the looks of things. So that's good to know too. And otherwise, we're going to just continue building kitchens. And there we are. Look at that. The bonus goal has been completed. Boom. We gained some extra score. That's actually very nice. And I think the best thing that we can do right now is probably just to build this so we get some extra effects going on here too. And we want to build more magic rooms. Can we have some more magic rooms? I have utility rooms. That's not exactly what I want. But I can't really do much about it. Uh, let's. Uh, oh, actually, there's a magic room. Okay, fantastic. Yes, let's do that. So let's build... Um, I'm actually not entirely sure. Maybe here, actually. Boom, there we go. And the neighbor score is going to be increasing, as you can see right there. Look at that. Look at that incredible neighbor score right now. Wow. It was uh, really, that was actually really powerful. And uh, that's the thing. I do that purely by mistake. Yes, I know. I know. I really shouldn't be doing it by mistake, but it's very, I don't know. I'm not very good at this game. Let's just say that. Okay, so wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me see. Can I place that here? Yes, I can. But that's going to actually block off one of our doorways, and we do not want that. So let's do things a little bit differently. There we go. Five turns remaining. That's perfectly fine. <laughs> ah, I see you are finished. Yes, well, this will do just fine. But more importantly, what names did you come up with? Well, I was thinking that maybe... How does the dark shadow sound? Oh, um, it sounds very evil. But aren't all shadows dark? Well, some shadows are darker than others. I would be the darkest shadow. Oh, that's right. The name should be the Darkest Shadow. You are so clever, boss. I am, aren't I? I need to go ask the others how they like it. You did okay here. Report back soon for your new assignment. Alright, so we just needed to score 40 points, which we obviously did, and that was relatively easy, because of course, we didn't have an opponent. Now, in the next match, we will. This guy. Hey, what are you doing here? This is where I will build the most evil lair the world has ever seen. So back off. I didn't know this organization hired kids. I am not a kid. Only a kid would carry around so many soda bottles. Soda bottles? These are high explosives, lady. Very dangerous. Right. Why don't you go play with your little bottles somewhere else? You will regret making fun of me. Hmm. I see you already met Eddie. Oh great, that saves us some time. <laughs> you see, in our organization, we value efficiency above all. So usually when I need a new lair, I ask several henchmen to make their own versions next to each other. This way I can choose which one I like best, and so everyone saves time. Oh wow, you are so smart, boss. <laughs> yes, finally, uh, finally someone who understands efficiency. So today you will be competing against Eddie here to see which one builds a lair more to my liking. I'll let you get to get to it. Alright, so, spoiler. I tried winning against Eddie before, and I utterly and completely failed. So this is going to be interesting. I don't know whether I'm even going to be able to do it this time either, but we'll see. All right, so let's have a look. Plus one for each neighbor type. Okay, so I would want a mischief. So I'm going to try and build this round about, uh, round about here. And he's going to go for the big score, which is absolutely fine because I want the mischief room. And we're just going to complete this like so. There we go. That actually gave us a small effect right there. 
and uh, the AI is very good, okay? I've got to say, I feel like the AI is really, really good. So I'm a bit daunted by it, but hopefully we're going to be okay. Uh, we're getting some plus score right there. That's not too bad. Look at that. That was pretty nice. And we have a, a hallway there. Mm -hmm. What is this? Uh, let's see. I'm, I'm trying to get something good. Trying to get something good. It's going to be a bit difficult. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe the garden, because we can put the garden round about here, and that will actually connect. That seems pretty decent. And... Hmm. Okay, wait a minute. We need kitchen. No, there are no kitchens. Economy. Mm, there's, a, there's an entertainment room. That's not really going to help us too much. A hallway could be really useful, so I'm actually going to be thinking about building one of these, but this is really kind of problematic in itself. Maybe we can do something like this. Okay, uh, there's the sabotage room. Okay, this could be really useful, but there's also a magic room. I kind of want the magic room, all things considered, so I'm probably going to try and build this. But as I say, I am not very good at uh, deciding where they should go, that's for sure. Okay, um, there's another kitchen. Let's build the kitchen here. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be difficult. Yeah, this is gonna be very very difficult. I I want the I want the sabotage room actually. I'd love to be able to build this, but you can see here if you if you build it here, then it's not it's not gonna fit, and here is not gonna fit either. So that's the that's the reason. Um, bit bit problematic. We could also do this, but then that's going to shoot my own things. So I'm going to have to go for the garden, which is kind of difficult to actually fit in here, as you can see. I can only fit it in there, and then there's only one space where I can move, which is really, really bad. But we're getting plus score, I guess, which is okay. Now he's going to be doing this. He's going to be getting some additional score too. I'm actually doing a lot better than I was last time, that's for sure. So I'm kind of happy about this. Economy, we need to build more economy rooms. So let's build one... Like so. Boom. That's nice. And okay, he's getting some more score, but we're actually ahead of him, surprisingly enough. I really thought to myself, you know what, I'm going to just absolutely fail here. But no, no, no. Seems like we're actually not doing too badly. Uh, let's see. We really, I would love to build this here, but there's not enough space, as you can see. So that's not really going to work. Maybe something like this. He's actually going for the sabotage room. That's that's a very interesting place to put it. Yeah, as you can quite clearly tell, he literally just shot his own rooms, and now he has turned the rooms all off. Yeah, what 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 was that? That was the most hilarious thing I've ever seen. Okay, I never expected him to do anything like that. That is absolutely fantastic for me. Really bad for him. So I'm kind of happy about that. Let me see if I can actually do a little bit of. Uh, what is what is this do? A self-destruct chamber. Really? Okay, I'm going to build this here literally just to take his space. That's all I'm doing. I'm literally just Oh, that actually just what? Really? That that's what it does? Okay, that's what it does. Right. <laughs> okay. I thought to myself, wait a minute. It's got it's got a name, you know. It's got the name of self-destruct chamber. So I was thinking to myself, yeah, it must it must self-destruct, right? And then it does. Yes, indeed. Then it does. Okay. Well, good to know, right? Good to know. Okay, so let's build something there. And we're, we're doing relatively okay at the moment. And you can kind of tell what's, um, what, you know, what the, what the whole goal of the game is. Deals one damage to the target enemy room. That could be really, really useful if there is a room with like one, one score or something like that. And then I can potentially disable it so he can't benefit from the score. Which would be kind of nice. Uh, let's see. Let's see. We need more kitchens. Uh, there's another self-destruct chamber. That's really not going to be that useful for me. Uh, yeah. I'm going to need hallways, I guess. Yeah, I mean, my kitchens are in really, really poor places right now. This is exactly the problem. I guess I'll just have to build something here. And just gain some score that way. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, 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 what? Oh, he used an ability. He seemed to use an ability right there. Oh, okay, interesting. 
Well, he's still not doing as well as we are, at least. That's all I can hope for. Um, there's a secret passage. Is that, that That's mine, right? Yeah, that is mine, so I'm not going to be using that. Uh, another self-destruct thing. Unpleasant corridor. I guess I will literally just use that. If he connects anything to that... Oh, uh, no. I, I could technically destroy uh, his... Uh, I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to destroy this room over here. Boom. That is now gone from the game. And as a result, it actually completely disables these two rooms here. Or at least it should... I hope it does. I'm actually not entirely sure. I think it does. So that's going to be really nice for us. Mm, I don't think... Ah, oh, yes. Kitchens. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Let's go for something. Uh, we could do this. No. Don't want to do that. That's really bad as well. Okay. Yeah. We'll just do this then. Bonus goal has been completed, so that's really nice. We gain extra score for that, or extra abilities. He's using Expedite, where he gains an extra turn. Okay, that's absolutely fine. I don't have a problem with him doing that, as long as he doesn't go for some crazy combo, because they, they do do that. The AI is very, very good at uh, comboing things together, and we need to build more magic rooms, so let's build another one there. What do I have? Activate the completion or placement effect of the target room. Wow. Okay, that's actually super, super useful. I'm going to try and see if I can do that. Um, increase the score of this room by the number of neighbors. That could be really useful. So let's actually do that. Boom. There you go. It increased my score of that room by four, which is amazing. I like that. And what else do we have? Increase the score of neighbor rooms by one. Okay, let's do that too. Boom. Right there. And now we've got even more score. We only need 10 more score and then we are absolutely fine. So let's see if I can do a little bit extra. I need more magic rooms. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, kitchens. Mm -hmm. No, no, nothing. Nothing that I really want here. So I will just go for a very, very basic play. Very basic play. And otherwise, another one around about here. I'm not really doing anything except just taking the highest score stuff, basically. I'm just taking that away from him for the moment. That's pretty much all I really want to do. And we could go for something like this. And I only need one more score. And then we're done. And that is, uh, that is a victory, which is surprising. There we go. The game will end soon. If he can't get to 70, I guess. Which is unlikely at this point. Yep, there we go. Whew, all right, that was actually, um, that was, that was kind of nerve-wracking to me because I, as I say, I'm pretty bad at this game, as you might imagine, um, but I'm really, really happy that we were able to achieve victory there, especially even though it's just a normal AI. I feel quite proud of myself for that, but yeah, maybe you want to give it your, you know, give it a go yourself, give it a go yourself. Oh no, we're up against someone that looks very, very scary. I have to say, I'm impressed how well you are adjusting to your role in our evil organization, Vivian. Oh, it means the world to, hear, uh, to, uh, to me to hear you say that, boss. Maybe one day you'll make a great evil right hand for me. Or, oh, well, I actually already have a right hand. A left hand, too, plus a couple spares. So many hands. But maybe the position of evil finger will open up for you. And if not that, an evil toe, for sure. Wow, that sounds amazing, boss. I had some important instructions to give to you, but I am kind of in a hurry. I just came up with this new evil plan, and I need to go write it down before I forget it. So just shortly, we could only buy a small plot of land, so keep your lair inside the lines. You'll be building against Emilio this time. Now evil calls. See you later. Oh, wow, okay. This, wow, okay. Pleased to meet you, my dear. And I must say, what an achievement for someone like you to join our organization. Someone like me? I mean, it is really inspiring to see someone try crawl their way above their potential. But enough with compliments, we mustn't waste time. I hope you will not take your defeat personally. You did your best. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, right. Uh -huh. Be the last one left. Alright, that's it, apparently. That is the only goal. Be the last one left. In other words, we need to build smallish rooms that are not going to extend too far away from the sort of center area. So I guess the best thing for me to do is just build this. Just build this right now. Going to build that roundabout there. 
And we want to build gardens as well. So I'm going to be building one here. Can I build one here? Yes, I can. Nice. And then we want more gardens, you see. We want more gardens as much as we can. But I don't want to build a massive garden. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to just go for that, I guess. He's going for some sabotage, which is apparently pretty good. That was actually a really, really good attack on his part. Very surprising. Let's see if I can shoot. There we go. Are you serious? I didn't shoot anything more? Okay. <laughs> uh, how sad, how sad. Okay. Well, there's another magic room. So I guess what I can do is maybe something like... Um, something like this, I guess. He's using reinforced materials, which, uh, what does that do? Next place room gets one extra score. Okay, I don't really care about how much score he has. That's not really the, uh, the point of this. So, don't think we really need to worry too much about it. But I'm still a little bit worried anyway. Um, let's place this here. There we go. Oh, we completely eliminated that. That was actually really nice. And uh, we need more magic rooms, more magic rooms, gardens. Uh, yeah, we don't really have much, much else to do here. Hmm. Okay, okay. Let's do something like this. We're getting some abilities. Your next three damage sources deal one extra damage. Okay, that could be really useful. So I'm actually going to use this. And then we're going to use vandalism on this room. Destroy that completely, and then activate the completion effect of a particular room. Shoots a laser that deals three damage on impact. That's a placement effect, not a completion effect. Hmm. Don't really want that then. So what about this? Can I can I do something here with this? Yes, I can. Possibly. All right. He's using hidden potential again. Oh, that's absolutely fine. You can destroy that if you want, sir. I really have no problem with that. That is okay. And what we're going to do is I'm actually going to try this. And that's not going to work. Uh, maybe something like this. Nice. There we go. That has completely blocked this off, kind of. So that's not too bad. And I can not do anything else, unfortunately. Uh, hmm. Let me see. Nope, that's not going to work either. I could do something like this or like this. No, that's not going to work. Ah, this is this is oh, this is difficult. Okay, maybe here. There we are. That seems the best I can possibly do. Uh, that's going to shoot at us, which is not going to be too nice. Okay, didn't do too much. Did just destroy. Uh, yeah, it destroyed one uh, one cannon. That's not that big a deal. I don't have a problem with that. And I'm, oh, I really need, I, I need better rooms. I need these, I need rooms that are actually going to expand outward rather than uh, the way it is right now. Can I, can I do this right here? I can. Ooh, nice. Okay, that's actually working really nicely for us. Okay. Uh, let me see, let me see. We can build this right here or, wow, this is, this is, uh, this is kind of risky. This is kind of risky for me. Hmm. Not entirely sure if I want to do that. Uh, I need a magic room though. I really need a magic room. So let, let, let me actually just... Let, let me do this. There we go. That's not too bad. Be the last one left. Alright. Well, I guess I'll try my best. <laughs> uh, I don't really want to build here. Can't build there. Can't build here. I mean, technically I can build here. I guess. Okay, the completion effect. Uh, activate the effect of a friendly neighbor room. So technically I can fire with this if I wanted to. Your next room effect will activate an extra time. That's completion effect. Hmm. We could do we could do this. Yeah, okay, let's do this right here. That's going to enable this to attack, which is gonna destroy one of his rooms and actually block off. Whoa, okay, it's actually doing more than I than I anticipated. Okay, pretty nice. And let's see, I can place this here, but I am very close to building on the edge. Hmm, we might instead want to go this way. 
There we go. We can actually choose one. Double room score. Your next room effect triggers twice. Gain a random perk. I'd like to gain a random perk, please. What did I get? When placed, your rooms deal plus one damage to enemy neighbors. Okay, that seems kind of fun. All right. Not too bad. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, dear. Oh, dear. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Am I, am I done? Am I done? I think we might be done. Ooh, I don't have, I don't have a lot of choice here. I can build here, can I? No? Oh no. Oh, that is terrible. I can technically pass my turn if I want to. I can pass my turn. Where, where can he build? He can only build over here, right? So I'm gonna pass my turn right away. Um, can I actually do that? How do I, how do I pass my turn again? I've completely forgotten how to pass my turn. Uh, can I, can I check the controls? Key bindings, there we go. Pass turn. There, there, there is no, okay, okay, well, uh, okay, right. No, that doesn't help me that much, does it? No, that doesn't really help me. Um, hmm. I... I guess I can play something, but this is going to be bad. Oh, he can actually place a load, so he's not even going to die right now. Okay, that's that's kind of that's kind of dangerous. That is really really dangerous in actual fact. Okay. Mm, I can build here. No, not really. We can do something like like this maybe? No, that's also not going to work. We can do this. Maybe? No? We can't do that either. Okay, so something like that, I guess. We can gain a random special ability, gain an additional turn, increase room score by three. I don't really care about that. I'll gain a random special ability. Deal one damage to the target enemy room. That could be so incredibly useful. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is going to be super, super useful. I'm going to do this here. Boom. That has completely blocked off this, 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 this way here, or at least it should... What? Really? I thought that I would actually block off that door doorway there, but apparently that didn't do that. Oh, that's kind of sad. Oh, well, never mind. Okay. Well, what is this? Dynamite storage. Destroy this room and deal five damage to neighbor enemy rooms. That could be so incredibly useful, but unfortunately, I don't have the ability to do that right now. So, instead, we're going to have to do something like this. <laughs> Closet of Boom, he just used. Okay, well, very nice for him, isn't it? Okay, so he's going to use that there. Right, okay. Hmm. Right, uh, yeah, I guess... Can I actually destroy my own, my own rooms? I mean, I can. Like that, I guess. Which is not the not the worst thing i would say but definitely not something that you want to do all the time is it okay wait a minute uh i think i might have you know what i think i might have just killed myself possibly oh if he destroys um yeah actually that's not particularly good you have no available moves. Ah, that's how you can pass the turn. All right, I thought I could actually pass the turn um, actively so that I could... Uh, yeah, there you go. I had no available moves whatsoever. But you see the point of the game, and in my opinion, I feel like this is a lot of fun. This is definitely something that I would recommend playing with friends. And generally, as you can see, the AI is really, really smart, or at least it's smart against me, at least. I don't know. Anyway, if you'd like to check out Chambers of Devious Design, there is a link in the description. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.